前屈立ち、前屈立ち。前 means front and 屈 means to bend. So we're basically bending the front leg, resulting in a front stance.、Uh, there are two points to consider when you do the front stance.、Uh, number one is the position of your knee. So let's say,、uh, let's do it from the side, okay? I'm doing the zen kisudachi currently like this. Make sure the knee, right, is right on top of this bone right here. In shotokan, yes, in other styles, their knee is around here, or in maybe other styles have it all the way here. But in shotokan, we have it here. The reason is we want to have the pressure on the front leg. And by dropping this, we want to move forward. If this knee is here, we must first. Drop this and then move. So there's going to be this extra, you know, little centimeter right here that we must enclose before moving. So we want to have the knee already here. Okay, so that's the first point. Make sure when you do the kihon, especially when you go to the hami position, your knee tends to back off. So make sure you keep it here and you punch.、Uh, second point is how you bend the front groin.、Uh, this is very important. Uh, for instance, let's do a comparison. So, the first way of standing in the front stance, let's say one person is standing like this, and the other is standing like this. Which do you think is better? The answer is choice number two. Although I'm not changing the length of my stance, by bending this part down, I'm able to change the height, okay? When you punch, when you do the block, we want to lock in the power at the front side. Because if we can't lock the weight at the front side, we're gonna get pushed back. How we lock that in is with here. If this is extended like this, you can get pushed back. But if this is bent, you can push、um, through the opponent. So make sure you bend this part down. Ko kutsudachi. Ko kutsudachi. Ko means back. Kutsu, just like zenkutsu, means to bend. So we are bending the back leg, meaning back stance. So there are、um, two points again for this back stance. Number one is the angle of your toes. Some people mistake this, so make sure you get this correctly. Your, first, your heel must touch each other like this. So they're not touching like this, okay? Make sure one, one heel is on top of the other heel. And open it in 90 degrees. This is very important. I said the angle of the toes, but it's also the angle of the knee. Wherever your toe faces, that's where your knee faces as well. Keep this angle and step forward. Okay? Make sure your knee doesn't change. Straight in a straight line. Don't veer off. Straight. And bend your knee to the direction of your toe. That's the simplest way to do a back stance. The second point is the position of your pelvis. In Shotokan back stance, we do not want the pelvis to be like this. We want our upper body to be upright, so this part we want it to be straight like this and not like that, okay? You're gonna hurt your lower back if you do this. So make sure you crush your abs and have a wall right here, like this. Okay, not out in crush your abs. Kibadachi, kibadachi, kibadachi.、Uh, ki means to ride and ba means horse. So this is a horse ride stance or horse stance.、Uh, there are two points again for the horse stance, kibadachi. First point is we must have the outside of the leg parallel to each other, okay? So this outer side has to be parallel. and Not the inside, okay? Make sure you move this. So you have to move your toes a little bit inside when you do the、uh, kibadachi and stand like this. Make sure you don't open up because this is shikodachi. Close it in and the size has to be parallel.、Uh, second point is the distance between your hip bone right here and your knees. The closer it is, the more stable you will get. Uh, make sure from here, don't move up. When you do shotokan katas, push this part down 
and stand like this. Fudodachi, fudodachi, fudodachi. Fu means not, and do means to move. So fudo literally means not moving stance. So it's a very rigid, close to the ground stance, like you see in Sochi. We are very stable. It's a powerful stance that we have. Um, there are two points again for the fudo dachi. Uh, number one is you want this stance to be very strong. So <clears throat> how we rotate our leg is like this. We don't want our hip or our knees to turn inside. We want it to go out. This is the same for sanjin dachi as well. So when you do the fudo dachi, let's do it from this side. Make sure your knees don't come in, okay? Out and stand rigidly. The second point is the level of your head. Uh, just like kibadachi, make sure this, the distance between right here does not come up. Make sure you crush this down, turn the knee up, I mean outwards, and stand in a strong fudodachi. If you want my feedback for all these stances, make sure you consider subscribing to my online group lesson from the link up above. Hachijidachi, hachijidachi, hachijidachi. Hachi means eight in Japanese. Ji means letter, and tachi means to stand. So a Japanese kanji of hachi is like this. And we you know, adjust our legs so that it forms a hachi angle like this. Uh, we use this hachijidashi before starting the kata. Uh, you know, all the heians like this, we start like that. Two points to consider here are, number one is just like fudodachi, we must have the power to the outside. So watch right here. If my knee comes inside, my stance will look like this. There's, it's, it's very unstable to stand like this. You must turn this to the outside like this. I think you've seen players that start like this and do this. That's because they, they're stabling their stance. So make sure your knee turns to the outside like this. And you should feel your hips coming together. I don't know if you can see it, but from here, like that, okay? Hips together. Uh, second point is the uh, position of your weight. If, we, if I show it to you from the side, this I'm leaning too much forward. This I'm leaning too much to the back. So how do you adjust your weight so that you're right in the middle? Well, this is a simple exercise you can do. Get up on your toe, and we're gonna go down slowly, but feel every cell at the back of your foot touching the floor. So go down slowly, balance yourself, feel each cell touching the floor, and stop where you feel comfortable. This is the correct position of your body. If you just go down like this, your weight is gonna be shifted to the back. I think you can feel that. Other way around, if you lift up your heel and slam to the front, obviously your weight is gonna to move to the front. So please adjust your weight so that it's in the middle. Hei kōdachi, hei kōdachi. Hei kōdachi, hei means flat, and kō means it's, somewhere, it's something that's going. So hei kō means it's parallel. Parallel stance, this is uh, standing for. Um, make sure just like kipodachi, the outside of the leg is parallel to each other, okay? So right here, the outside is parallel. And we use this um, in a lot of the kihons. Uh, just one point to consider is to open up your toes like this. Uh, we've talked about the importance of using, utilizing your toes in a video with Gakuji-san. So please check that out if you haven't yet but make sure you, you can open up your toes and grab onto the floor. You're just standing in the same spot, but you want to apply the technique. Therefore, you must have the lower body very close and you know, connecting to the earth. So don't just stand like this. Grab onto the floor and feel the connection between the floor. Musubidachi, musubidachi, musubidachi. Musubi means a tie, and tachi means to stand. So this is musubi dachi. 
Musubitachi in Shotokan, unlike other styles, is open in 60 degrees. Um, you'll see in other styles, they open up a little bit wider, but make sure they are 60 degrees. Uh, one thing to consider, or two things to consider here, make sure your toes, I mean your heels are touching, all right? Make sure they're not open like this. Heels touch each other. Uh, second point, just like the previous um, he hachijidachi, make sure your weight is evenly dispersed throughout the bottom of your foot. Since the heel is touching, you tend to lean back, but make sure you adjust it. He sokudachi, he sokudachi. Last but not least, he sokudachi. He means to close, soku means foot. So we are closing the foot like this in he sokudachi. Uh, he sokudachi is used when we do kiyotsuke, which is standing like this in, in the same spot. So two points here. Number one, make sure you close in your feet completely together. Uh, if it's you know, open, that's musubidachi. So make sure you close it. Second point is that you want the feet to be at the same position, meaning you don't want one to be at the front or to the back. Make sure you adjust it very, very slight differences that you have to notice. So uh, make sure, yeah, every time, same position. Start here, but right now my left is over the right by like two centimeters. So please um, practice and that's perfect, I think, yeah. Make sure you practice like this. If you guys have any questions, please comment that down below and make sure you guys check out my other karate name tutorial list. The kick one and the punting version, okay? Make sure you check, guys check that out and make sure you subscribe to my channel and my online group lesson as well. See you guys next time.